He took a big pay cut, was a healthy scratch on the Giants season opener, and he still ended up leading the team in receiving yards. Darius Slayton is back in blue on a two-year, $12 million deal, and he's, he's on the line now. My man, I know your phone's been blowing up. Congratulations, because it's been a hell of a seven months for you in training camp. I remember you told me that it was going to be one hell of a story. So some fans don't understand the adversity that players go through in a season or even throughout their career. Take us through these past seven months. Like, how much does re-signing with the Giants mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. You know, it's, like you said, this past seven months has been crazy. You know, obviously, um, last season didn't get off to the season, didn't get off to the start that I wanted it to. But, you know, I just kind of stayed focused, kept focusing on my grind and was able to work my way back up into a starting role. And then once I got back there, I was able to maintain it the rest of the season. But, you know, it's, it's, uh, I know a lot of people I know personally and, you know, friends of mine, people always kind of think that, you know, you make it to the NFL and then it's just smooth sailing from there. But, um, you know, there's a lot of particulars that goes into this. Um, obviously, I've been a part of a team that's on its third head coach. We're on our fourth OC. So, you know, I've had to deal with a lot, a lot of change and kind of impress a lot of people over the first four years of my career. But, you know, I'm grateful for it all. Well, you talk about being under your third head coach. I mean, Brian Davis come in. He won Coach of the Year. I mean, he's done it all. I mean, he's he's got Giants fans excited about the, the the franchise again. So, what was that moment that you guys bought into Brian Dable? And talk about that moment where you really felt there was a culture change in the locker room. I think from the first moment, honestly, that they touched down. You know, there was this new life, new energy, new positive energy in the building. Um, you know, Coach Dable does a great job of. of holding people accountable, but at the same time, you know, maintaining a light kind of air about just like the casual moments, you know, in the, you know, whether you're passing in the cafeteria in the locker room, you know, he's a, a good guy, easy to talk to. And, you know, I think he did a great job of just pumping, you know, confidence, but also just a calmness and a, a lightness to our team. Did you give him any flag for the mustache thing that the little mustache mishap that he had? Were y'all on him for that? Yeah, I, yeah, I uh, I wasn't too big of a fan of that one. I'm, I'm, to this day, I'm not quite sure where he was going with that one, but um, you know, hey, maybe I actually I think it was like maybe sometime during mid midway through the season or something. I think he was just switching it up or okay. something. But I, yeah, I don't I don't think we need any more of those uh, kind of switch ups. You can tell he's a true leader. He didn't throw his barber under the bus. Um, another player that's that's gone through adversity while he's been here, Daniel Jones. You guys came in together. He got his payday, and he got his respect from Giants fans. Get real with us about the evolution of the man that formerly used to be called Danny Dimes, but now after signing that contract, he's Danny Dollars. Yeah. Um, honestly, I, I, pr I probably – I don't know if there's a – another deal outside my own that I was more happy for than his, you know, just cause, you know, I've, we've been, you know, side by side our whole careers together and I've really watched him grow. And I've always, you know, I feel like this past season kind of gave a chance for everybody to see who I've always felt like and knew that he was, you know, so I'm just happy that he finally got, you know, some of the respect and some of the credit that he deserves. And, you know, I fully expect him to continue to improve and be a great quarterback for this franchise. Well, it's Joe Shane's season now, this offseason in free agency. He's brought you guys in some help on the offensive end. Darren Waller, Paris Campbell. So what are your thoughts on the signings, and what kind of leap are you expecting from the past game in year two uh, under offensive coordinator Mike Kafka? Uh, I think we'll, we'll take definitely some positive steps. You know, obviously, being in year two, you kind of eliminate that first wave of, like, completely trying to learn a brand-new playbook and, you know, at least for the guys that have been here, you know, we're already familiar, you know, we're, we're going to get off to a fast start. But, you know, I think uh, Joe's done a great job of, of accumulating talent this offseason. Obviously, Darren, you know, is one of the top tight ends in the NFL. So anytime you can add somebody like that to your team is going to be a good thing. And obviously, Paris was in my draft class. Uh, I don't really know him very well personally. But, you know, we're in the same, you know, draft group through the, throughout the combine. You know, I know he's fast. I think he, I think he ran – 4-3-0 or something like that in our mm -hmm. group. So, you know, anytime you can add speed and talent to your team is going to be a good thing. Well, Darius Slayton, man, again, congratulations and uh, good luck this season. Appreciate you.